Hello beautiful people, it's Jamie and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. I am going to bring you a spring summer ASOS haul. So I have done two fat ASOS orders over the last few days. This will be an ASOS styling try on haul as well. So I've paired everything that I've purchased in outfits. There are some pieces which I couldn't fit into outfits. So I've just paired with like a white t-shirt or something. So it just makes it easier for you guys to shop and to see as a styled piece. I bought so many new in pieces, which I thought I would film for today's video and share with you guys some bits new on ASOS. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, don't forget to smash the like button and without further ado, let's get on with today's spring summer ASOS haul for 2021. So quite a few of these bits, I am actually stepping a little bit outside of my comfort zone. The whole baggy jeans, wide leg pants, corduroy, long line, shorts, all of those different trends. I grew up hating, like I was like always for skinny jeans, always for muscle fit, tight fit clothing, whereas now it's all about the complete polar opposite. So it's been really interesting going into the ASOS catalog and buying new things and trying them on which are completely different to what I'm used to. It's got Jamie but it's also trendy if that makes sense. It's all good following the trends but if it's not you as a person as an identity don't bother. So the first thing I have picked up is this ASOS design oversized t-shirt. Now it's just in this beige colour and it's got this black detail running throughout. It's like a black pattern. I really like the size and fit of this t-shirt because it's quite oversized. It's a very soft fabric and it fits really really well. I actually decided to get this in a medium and that t-shirt was £18. Next to go with the outfit and to style the t-shirt up I got these ASOS design pleated shorts. Now I'm absolutely obsessed with the colour of these shorts. I love how they're kind of like a brownie beige colour. I feel like it's such a neutral colour that you could go with anything in your wardrobe and it's all the rave on social media at the moment this kind of colourway just because it does fit so well with like your greys and your pastel tones. It's just got a nice little buckle fastening and it's got pleats down the front to give it that little bit of extra detail. What I love specifically about these shorts is that they do come down quite long. They come just above the knee which is really nice for that kind of more chill, oversized, comfy look. I decided to pick these shorts up in a waist 30 and because they are high-waisted or slightly high-waisted they are quite tight. If you do want a little bit more of a relaxed comfortable fit, if you don't mind wearing a belt, I personally don't like wearing a belt so I've decided to stick to my 30 and these were £28. Now after the heat day that we had in the UK the other day when it was literally like 22 degrees I may have gone a little bit summer obsessed and I decided to get some tech sandals. Now I've been seeing these on so many different creators Instagrams and not gonna lie they make them look so freaking cool and stylish and fashionable so I decided to try them myself. One thing I would say is definitely size down. I got them in my normal size which is a size 10 but they are so big and wide and oversized. They've definitely got that comfort sole which means that standing in them walking in them is going to be like walking on clouds. They are so lovely. They've got this buckle detailing on the front. Also curves around so it kind of hugs your toes. It's a really weird designed sandal. I love the platform. It just gives you that little bit of extra height. It's definitely more of a fashion sandal as opposed to like something practical. It's definitely something to wear with like jeans and socks. That is one trend that I am I'm unsure whether I'm here for or not. Socks and sandals I feel like is one of my guilty pleasures. I feel like I really want to see the trend but I just don't know whether I've got the look and the vibe to pull off socks and sandals. Let me know in the comments whether you guys are for socks and sandals or whether you're against it. And these sandals were £32. Another outfit which I am so excited about. This is giving me very spring vibes. The first item I picked up are these ASOS design cord pastel blue baggy trousers. Now everything I just said is everything that I'm here for and I'm loving at the moment. I got these in a waist 30 and 32 length and they fit me perfectly. So they're just in this really nice cord material. They're not too stretchy, but I quite like that because the cord makes them feel really rigid and just really good quality. The color is to die for. Like it is a spring dream if there ever was one. It's got this kind of like detailing at the side where it kind of opens up. And then on the other side, it's just got again, those cute little details, very baggy, very oversized. There's something about them which just gives me very 70s vibe. Maybe not the colour, but definitely the style and the cord. It's very 70s, which again, bringing back all those vintage trends and those 
houses were £35, I decided to try a cardigan. Now, uh, if you guys know, because they won't know because I wasn't doing YouTube at the time, oh my god, I decided to buy a cardigan for an event. And it was from ASOS. It was one of those chunky knit oversized cardigans. And at the time, I really, really liked it. Now it's gone vamanos out of my wardrobe. It's not nice at all. I've kind of been scarred over wearing and buying cardigans ever since. But recently, cardigans have come right into fashion. And you can style it up either really casually or really formally with like a shirt and tie or something. So it's this grey cardigan from ASOS Design. I got it in a medium. It's very kind of oversized and boxy. It's just such a nice lightweight fabric. It's got some buttons going down the front. I really love the colour. I think it's all about the details with things like that. And the price of the cardigan is £28. I decided to pick up these reclaimed vintage, vintage looking trousers. I thought I was really going to love these. I really like the colour. I really like the style. I have very similar trousers because I really like high waisted baggy pants. I just think they look so cool, so sick to wear on Instagram. I think it's just the colours. They give me very old man chic and I don't think I'm ready to pull off old man chic yet. I just don't think it's my vibe. They're also tanned up at the bottom and at the cuffs and these baggy fit trousers were £30. Now we have so much denim it's actually ridiculous. So the first pair of jeans I have are these baggy jeans in mid blue Japanese wash which sounds really fancy but essentially it's just blue denim with lots of little details so it's got this kind of fray patches it's got the distressing throughout the jean and the wash isn't like a straight blue it's got that kind of like greeny yellowy hue with these funky detail lines i don't know how to describe it one thing i really wasn't a fan of was the fact that the button on the asos design new denim is rose gold now i wouldn't mind it if all the other details were rose gold but because this is rose gold and all the other details are silver you know when you just don't put gold and silver together that's exactly what i get from these jeans i definitely say that they're more tailored towards the taller guy because i'm 5'11 6 foot with trainers on and these literally hit the floor these were 35 pounds now the next pair of jeans which i'm just obsessed with are these reclaimed vintage blue denim baggy jeans now this color is just stunning like how vibrant and beautiful is this denim like when i want denim i want this denim i feel like this color denim is just the classic denim color and i just love it i love the contrast stitching i really like the baggy oversized style of the legs and i really like the cinch tighter waist at the top i decided to get it in a waist 30 which is my regular size and these cost me 35 pounds as well to match those jeans i picked up this parisian top man top if you didn't know top man is now selling on asos which i don't know i've kind of outgrown top man but i saw this and i was like oh this is kind of cute this was 14.99 and it's just an oversized white t-shirt with paris on the front which is just one of my favorite cities one thing that i hate about it which i'm so disappointed about because i love this and in the clip you will see it tucked in kind of oversized it looks so cute because you've just got the beautiful scene of paris on the front but then they've gone and added this little circle detail which says Paris. It's like, come on, you can see that it's Paris because it's got the freaking Eiffel Tower in it. It's just, I feel like that makes it look cheap and the final outfit i want to show you guys is these are the asos design straight leg jeans in mid blue i really like this kind of lighter wash of jeans i think it just looks a bit more clean and crisp and just spring summer they're a little bit too tight for my liking considering the fact that they're straight leg they're not wide and baggy enough and these were 20 pounds and then to go with it i bought this sweater vest now i had such high hopes for this sweater vest i really wanted to like it because i love a cream sweater vest I love the chunky neckline because it gives me very going to golf vibes and I just love that sporty yet chic vibe. When I tell you that this is the largest thing I have ever seen, can we just appreciate how absolutely huge this is? So I know on the website it does say that it is extreme oversized but I really didn't expect it to be this oversized. Like it is literally a dress and for some people they can rock that look. For me because I've got such a tiny frame at the top and such long legs it just completely doesn't work with my proportions it's only going to be good if you really really like oversized things i actually got this in a small because i knew it was going to be oversized but the lowest they do is a 2xs and i still think that that will be quite oversized too and this sweater vest was 18 pounds and then finally now i thought these would be the exact same ones as the black sandals but they are a completely different style these are a little bit more kind of granddad style sandal it's the back bits i'm not a fan of they remind me of the sandals that 
that I used to have as a kid. On the model, they looked so frigging cool. It might just be me. And again, these sandals are the kind of sandals to wear with like socks and denim jeans. So again, I feel like it might just be the fact that I can't pull stuff like this off. And these sandals were 22 pounds. What the hell am I? Check these bad boys out. Charlie. Mum's showing my whole family. Those creep sandals. <laughs> the fuck are they, <laughs> I'm going for a certain vibe and those, those sandals <laughs> don't cut it. Mom! <laughs> but the model made them look so appealing and I was like, I need to see what these are like. I think the vibe is cool. So guys, that is the end of today's video and today's spring summer ASOS haul for 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and try on haul. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button and of course, subscribe down below for more Jamie Dear content. If you guys want to see more hauls, then I'm happy to do them because I love a good online online shop and now shops are opening I can go shopping again RIP my credit card thank you very much guys for watching today's video and I will see you in my next video bye guys thank you for watching